few people have asked how I edit the videos and what I use, so I thought I'd put together a quick video showing you how I do it. I use Camtasia Studio and let's get into it and I'll show you how it goes. So I'll open it up. First of all I use a template that I've created the intros and outros and all the scoreboards and things. And then I have to go in each week and update uh, the data in each intro so that I can come in here and update say the round, round, this is round robin final series. series and versus view and I'll put the data in here already as well so I'll just change the names each each week and then edit the videos I've imported the videos imported the media into the game into Camtasia and put it on a timeline um, and then all the intro stuff is already already there each week so I don't have to do that each week but I'll change this text here and I'll change the scoreboard down the bottom so this is the start of the game and then I go through and edit all the points. I have to take out the bits in between the points so it makes it nice and smooth and quicker. And we don't wait around for the ball retrieval, etc. So I'll show you how I edit it. First of all, I lock off all these other timelines so we don't accidentally edit them. So now we're only game timeline is the only one that's active so I'll play it watch the point that's the end of the point and then I drag it through until the next point starts and so there it was and I can see that his technique is to bounce the ball twice and then serve so I'll be looking for that from now on um, so stop it about there and I'll cut out by pressing Control X to edit that bit out so it splits the two video files you can see one there and one here um, into two separate video files now we'll watch this point so that's the end of the point and then I'll drag through and serving next and you'll see his serving action so he comes in his hand on the table pretty quickly and then serves. So we're looking probably about here. It would be a good edit. And another nice point. And then we drag it through again, drag the red handle through, looking for that action. So about there. And here he goes again. And we continue that, and that's how it goes, point after point after point after point. Uh, on average, say, 18 to 20 points per game. So that's 18 to 20 edits per set. I like the three setters. So I'll go through and edit all of this um, right through to the end um, and then I'll come back and do the scores and now we'll speed up the video a little um, so you can see all my edits ok 
Okay, well that's all the editing of the points. Um, taking out all the in-between bits of the points and let's. You never see any let's in these games. So before I do the scoring, I'll do all the replays. Um, I've already done one replay up here where I've put some music and a little replay box that comes up here and fade in and fade out sort of thing. You can see that here. The replay rolls in, the replay happens. You see the other little silence in the background. And then the replay rolls out. The reason I've put music behind there is because if I didn't and I make the sound of the game it would be a slow motion sound which doesn't sound good. So you get a little, little bit of blues coming in the replay. So now I can copy that clip and find the next instant replay which is indicated by these little grey bars here where it's slower speed. So I'll position that at the beginning of the clip and then I can come up and paste the replay um, and I'll drag it out to the length of the clip there so now I'll see this point and then the two instant replays this time um, and now we get into the scores so this is where I have to watch the um, whole match again <coughs> but the edited down version so we start here and the sets and the scores are nil all and nil all um, I'll unlock the scores and I'll lock the game because I don't need to do any edits on that and I'll lock the replays um, now we watch the games So you won that point, so I can go to the scores, double click on that, and you is the bottom score. So one nil to him. So you can see the one nil there. And miss that one as well. So now what I do is I take that text box, which is here, um, and that score, and I copy it and paste it. Unfortunately it moves up there and doesn't move to the right size it to the length of the clip and I change that to a 2. So now you'll see the score here changes to a 2. There we go. Now I'll watch the next one. And wins that one. So I copy, paste, drag down, across change that to a one two one he wins that copy paste drag down size to the size of the clip three one and that's how we go for as many sets as there are and wins that one again Come back there. And there we go. And in a minute, I'll show you the change of sets. So we'll speed up this next bit. And because you don't want to see me editing it for an hour. Okay, well, that's the end of that set. And that's 11.7. So I need to split that set text, which is zero, 0, So I'm going to split that and I'll change that to one set to earn. Um, so we'll copy that one and drag it down here and start the next set at zero, 0. So that's where the set changed. Shrink to fit. Beginning of the second set, there's one set, and here we go again. 
and wins the first point. So zero zero gets dragged out to there. Copy and paste, drag down, size to the size of the next point, and change to and wins one. And we start all over again for set two. Okay, so I've finished putting in all the points, and as you can see, and one. 11, 8 in the third. And the last thing I've got to do is update this final fade in scorecard that I've got. So expand out these pieces and it's not locked, no. So um, let's put in the names again. And Finish the scoring and the scoreboard and put some fade in and fade out. So you can see the scores over here disappear. These ones come in with the right scores 3 0. And then a little bit of advertising for my picker. And the club logo. And we're all done. So the outro looks good. Now all we have to do is produce it. So we come up to produce and share. And we'll change it to 1080p. So we'll call it Aaron versus Liu. Put it in that folder. And we'll just show and play. And then we'll click finish. And it will render. Reasonably quick. So that's finished rendering now, um, takes 10 minutes or so, and 210 megabytes, six and a half minutes, and then we just have to upload that to our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching, that's how I do it each week, and uh, see you around the club.